Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Bath and Body Works. And yes, this is voiceover Garrett. And we are inside Loman's Plaza. And this was actually taken a couple days ago. I believe it was a couple days ago. Yeah, during the body care sale. And of course, the store was busy. It wasn't super busy when I was in the store. But, you know, I don't stay in here for a couple minutes. I stay in for quite a while. So it did get busy, and I'm pretty sure every store was um, hit with a large crowd. Awesome, awesome sale. $3.95 for these buy lotions and $4.95 for the creams. So I'm taking a look at the sale, and I did buy a few things. And I know, I told myself, no more lotions, no more creams. But at this price, I had to, and I know how that sounds. No, I did not have to. If I just open up my huge container full of body care, I I pretty much pretty much have everything. I said pretty much twice there. I pretty much I said it three times. I have everything already except for golden berry mistletoe. So make sure you shop your collection, shop your stash, open up that huge container, open up your drawers, um, and you'll find a lot of great treasures in there. So that single wick candle holder I did pick up with my rewards because I want to use my rewards. And I'm taking a look at the wallflower plugs and I'm always interested to see which ones are popular, which ones are selling. There's the snowflake. So I was told this stress relief was the most popular scent of the day at Lomans Plaza. I'm pretty sure it was that one. One of the not so popular scents was Northern Brights that was not doing well. And we're doing our gummy bear check. This is the sideways look. We seem to have all the colors there, I believe. And a little gingerbread mug. And continuing my wallflower check. Looks like no more trains at Lowman's. So the train is popular. I don't think it has the very best reviews. And mine is definitely a little bit wonky. But that's what you get with those wallflower plugs sometimes. And the Christmas trees, I'm still... Still considering that honeycomb Christmas tree, it's very nice. So this shot, I was just looking at how many of the specialty candles they have in store. And it looks like they have plenty of the the Perfect Christmas. And okay, the Perfect Christmas looks pretty nice on Rudolph. Rudolph, you look pretty cute with the Perfect Christmas. You don't look as scary. And we're taking a look at the Nutcracker Clocks, and this is one of my favorite clock holders for this year, and the Moving Pendulum just, it's everything. So we're taking a look at the front here, so we're taking a look and we're seeing how many of the glass lid candles are left, and it looks like, um, under the Christmas tree, I think that one's the least popular, and To All Good Night is the most popular still. And we are actually, are we at, no, I think we are at um, Laguna Crossroads now. So yes, because I took a look at the Bright Christmas Morning soaps. I just opened up a couple huge containers of body care and soaps. And I have a couple Bright Christmas Morning soaps, so I don't need any. Speaking of soaps, are these summer soaps? Because I'm not ready for summer at all. I, I don't want to see Lavender Cloud. I don't want to see Almond Blossom. Pineapple Mango, please go away. I don't want to see any of these soaps. It just seems weird and odd. Uh, summer, it's it's supposed to be like, what, June? June-ish? It's November. I want my November and December soaps. I want winter. I don't want to see Pineapple Mango. I bought plenty of the Pineapple Mango and the tea. I forget the mashup, but I bought plenty of those um, during SAS. So I was not excited to, to see these or smell them, but Cocktail Gardens, is that what it's called? Cocktail Garden was pretty nice. And I'm showing you what the soap looks like in each soap holder, but it doesn't really, it's kind of pointless because it's hidden. So yeah, I thought, well, this was a waste of time. So never mind about that. Now I'm just going to look at some of my favorite soaps in terms of scents and labels. Winterberry Ice is a favorite. I really wish... They made this soap into a candle, but for some reason in that color, we got the uh, fall candle. What was it called? The, I have no idea. I totally forgot. But yeah, they should totally made, to totally made that into a candle. And looking at Crossroads still, I'm checking the specialty candles. So we have Tis the Season. That one's looking pretty low. We have one on top of the Santa Claus sleigh. And Raspberry Thumbprint. I wonder how everyone's loving Raspberry Thumbprint. I absolutely love that one. Although, after three burns, it does smell kind of 
burn, in my opinion. Um, the Mexican hot chocolate candle, I like that one. The Feliz Navidad, very nice label. And I'm taking the Feliz Navidad and I'm putting it on top of the Santa sleigh candle holder. There it is. Yep, very nice. And next, we're taking a look at this little... I don't think I've shown this before, but it's the little Santa Claus... I will just call it a little cracker. Christmas cracker, winter or um, winter candy apple. Little pocket back and hand cream. And I believe that says $9.95, so definitely don't get that. <laughs> That's not a good price at all. We're doing the gummy bear pocket back check and pocket back holder check. And purple gummy bear is looking great in the gingerbread house. And so is orange gummy bear. They are having a great time probably eating the house because it's oh so sugary. And astronaut pocket back holder, $14.95. Boba, $6.95. Disco ball, $13.95. And very sparkly. I love how the light catches on that disco ball. Really, really festively plump cat is, I believe, $6.95. It definitely ate enough gingerbread, and Smiling Musubi is also $6.95. I love that one. I still have to get it. And here are two of the Christmas Tree Single Wick Mouse Candle Holders, and a plethora of Christmas candles. They look very, very pretty. I love seeing all the colors. And I'm taking a look at the Christmas Tree Candle Holder. I'm going to put some candles on top so you can see what it looks like. Frosted Cranberry. I like the pink with the green. And next is... What's next? Oh, Winter Candy Apple, so that one looks great, obviously. Raspberry Thumbprint looks awesome. Um, fresh Balsam, green with green, matchy-matchy. Perfect Christmas. I really like that one. I love the plaid on top of the Christmas tree. Uh, peppermint Sugar Cookie looks great, of course. And Vanilla Bean Noel, any kind of green candle on top of that Christmas tree will look great. And I'm finishing up at Lomans looking at... Not Lomans. Looking at Crossroads um, at those candles. And I'm walking by walking by the Happy Hanukkah little set there. It looks like the candles are selling. Um, I do like that candle, but it's not my favorite. The fuzzy socks look very fuzzy. And I'm being a good customer, and I'm picking that one up. This one actually is my favorite wallflower plug. I did my top Christmas wallflower plugs, and this one worn out. It emits so many snowflakes on the wall, and it's very expansive. So I think that one, everyone should consider that one. Uh, the train actually is not my favorite, and I was showing you the Christmas floor and this moon and stars. I was looking for that in the bins, but I could not find it. I'm pretty sure I, I'm going to assume it's sixteen ninety five, but that one's cute. I love anything astronomy and that snowflake. It You can kind of see the glow, but... It's kind of unfortunate. They should really dim the lights um, on top of these wallflower plugs or in this area. It might be kind of hard, but there's the train. That house is probably the one that's lit the best, in my opinion. It's just, it really glows. Uh, but the little village is still my favorite. And we're taking a look at what's left in the bins here. And I thought my video was almost done, but apparently I was really wrong. So we have one of the Santa Claus in the sleigh and... Yeah, the snowman and the Christmas trees, plenty of those still. So not too many new items in store today, so I apologize if it's, if, I apologize if it's kind of redundant. Um, but I want to get one walkthrough. I'm going to try to pump out as many walkthroughs as I can because unfortunately, um, things are happening and my channel will see a decrease in Bath & Body Works videos. And I will explain what's happening in maybe my next video or pretty soon, but unfortunately, I will not be around for Kendall Day. I will not be around for SAS or anything. I will be missing everything. So my walkthroughs are going to be coming to an end. It's going to be, uh, I'll be experiencing a little hiatus. So unfortunately, that's happening, but I will explain um, why that is. Sugar Pomegranate is a really nice scent. My first time experiencing it was with the special uh, glass lid candle from a couple years ago, I think. So, yeah, I will try to get as many Bath & Body Works videos out as I can, but they are going to be ending pretty soon, unfortunately. Uh, taking a little look at the soaps, and I had no idea these summer soaps were in front of the store, so I did not have to struggle with showing the trimies and moving things around. 
So here's a better look at all the summer soaps that I'm not interested in. And here is a clip from Michael's. Now, I've gotten a lot of, I've received a lot of questions about my Christmas tree that twinkles. And I purchased that at Michael's. So here we are at Michael's. I did not see it in the store, but look online and I will show you a clip right now. And here's my Michael's Christmas tree that I've shown so many times in my videos. But I think this tree has been a hit because I've gotten a lot of questions about about it and I I really love this tree actually I have two of them but I haven't put batteries in my second one I'm tempted to get another one because this is a great piece just to have everywhere or just part of a display in one place just have a bunch of sparkly Christmas trees everywhere so here's the Michael's Christmas tree on top of my Bath and Body Works Christmas tree this is probably online right now for 40% off and they do have a an inventory search so you can search in nearby stores to see if they have this so yep i'm loving it very pretty and that's my walkthrough thank you for watching and i will explain what my plans are for this channel and why i'm taking the bath and body works hiatus pretty soon but yes i will cover that pretty soon bye